Perseverance. It's a mindset that's necessary whether you're producing a new product or raising pigs. And tonight, you get to see a little of both created in the corridor. She's just getting ready to go, and that's why I got up early this morning. I did not want to lose any of her babies, because uh, she laid on one last year, uh, and probably the best one. Lynn County farmer David Martin is talking about Flo, a 650-pound prize winner that's about to deliver a new litter. She's already produced an Iowa State Fair Reserve champion. But like so many other sows, she's accidentally killed some promising piglets after giving birth by laying on them. That can be costly for Martin's small 20 hog farrowing operation. So your piglets are going to have the best health. Enter Matthew Rhoda of Oskaloosa, whose dad managed a commercial operation of 1,800 sows. $276,000 for a farm my dad's size and what they were losing is what they were forfeiting because piglets were getting laid on. So it's a huge expense. Rhoda and his team of four colleagues are working at the Iowa Startup Accelerator to develop Swine Guard, new technology designed to save new piglets from their parental pounding. It consists of a sensor mounted on the side of a crate to pick up a piglet's loud squeal. It'll analyze any noise coming from the front or from her uh, shoulders all the way back to her rear. So we're collecting the most likelihood chance of piglet getting laid on is in those areas. Rhoda says a special harness on Mama would then give her a light shock to get her up. That's about how they react when uh, the, the mechanism delivers that impulse to her side. It's just simple stand up like that, but they do actually stand up a little bit quicker. I think it's very interesting. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's a, what, 15% death loss from pigs getting laid on from, and usually that's within the first uh, two days, I believe it is. And you just and, lost some pigs. Yeah, this, this litter right here behind us, she had 13 more, but she laid on one that night, one the next morning, and then one again in the afternoon. Back at the accelerator, Rhoda insists that Swine Guard is safe, using the same voltage as the average dog collar. You can hold it in your hand and shock yourself over and over, and then it not, doesn't really bother you. It's just the fact when you're not actually focusing on something happening to you, it alerts you that much more because it just catches you by surprise. Just four months into developing Swine Guard, Rhoda's team will start beta testing the product in January with high hopes. I see a potential for this globally, um, not right away, but in the future. By the way, as you can see, Flo had her litter and we got to meet one of them. You can meet Matthew Rhoda and his Swine Guard team at the Innovation Expo in Coralville next month. It features the largest showcase of entrepreneurs in the state of Iowa and it's free.